Hey everyone, Friday afternoon, just ending our first week on our virus vacation. Uh, hopefully you are all doing well and safe and healthy and keeping the appropriate social distance away from each other. So, speaking of social distancing, distancing I thought I'd make a little video uh, to touch base with you. I've been thinking this week, what, I wonder what my students are doing. I'm sure they're probably watching, binge watching various shows, and it got me thinking, you know what, why don't we tap into this a little bit? I can't really create new work for you to do, um, but I think this could be a fun opportunity for us to connect with each other and, and see, are we meeting our history need, our history uh, appetite, so to speak? You know you have one. You know you've missed talking about history uh, over the last two weeks with spring break thrown in there. So I kind of threw together a Google Doc that I put on our Canvas page, right? If you have access to Canvas, you, I know you got your Chromebooks. Um, we'll talk a little bit about if you don't have Wi-Fi. Uh, remember, uh, Canvas does have a pretty good app that a lot of people get on their phone. So uh, I know a lot of you can actually complete some of your current events on your phone. So I know you have phones because I've seen you on them in class. And so um, plug it in, come over to Canvas, come to our World History page. You will notice that right here, I've got a Google Doc started that I'm calling our movie and school shutdown journal. Um, I was thinking like, let's just touch base, right? What movies are you watching? Can we make a history connection? What books are you reading? Hopefully you're finding some time uh, to do a little bit of pleasure reading. I think we can make some connections to that, to history. So take a look at this doc. Uh, you'll see I've made a couple entries on there right away, kind of figure out what I've been watching, what I'm reading. Um, I got to tell you a little bit about the movie. I finally watched Jojo Rabbit. In fact, I've rented it twice. It's not available free, but it's on Prime. If you have that opportunity to rent it, I highly recommend it. I just, I really just loved that movie. Um, watched a little the Netflix series on the Ottoman Empire. I'm not a real big medieval history person, but I really enjoyed that. It's about the battle for Constantinople, the fall of the Roman Empire in the Middle East, and the rise of the Ottomans. Really enjoyed that one. A couple books that I'm going through. I'm a big, uh, I like audiobooks. I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I'm out for walks with the dog. Um, one that I'm listening to right now is Layer of Dreams. It's the second book in the Diviner series, a young adult series that my daughter wanted me uh, to get into. It's nonfiction, but it's definitely got some history connections. Got a connection to World War I, takes place in the 1920s in New York. So you get to learn about speakeasies and uh, bootlegging. Uh, and it's kind of fun. It's a little bit of a dark series. Uh, the history book that I'm reading right here is known is the newest book by Eric Larson. He's a an author that I really write, really like. Writes some really good uh, history stories. Read a good one on uh, the Lusitania a couple of years ago. He wrote another one about wireless technology and a murder in London. So he kind of has an interesting approach uh, to history. This one's all about the Battle of Britain. And Winston Churchill in particular, we talked a little bit about him. So that's what I'm reading, right? And that's what I'm watching. I want to know what you're reading, what you're watching. So um, let's play along. I might throw out that invitation to a couple of the other history teachers, social studies teachers at WASH to see what they're doing. So I think it's just a kind of a fun little way to connect. Um, you don't have to put your name down. You want to give me an anonymous tip on, on what you're watching. Uh, fill out that Google Doc. It's just a, it's a different way for us uh, to stay in touch. If you don't have access to the internet, uh, if you don't have Wi-Fi at your, your house, um, I don't know how, like reach out, see if you can shoot me an email through your phone if you have access to that. We at WASH have access to more hotspots uh, and I will help make sure that we can get that to you so you can get Wi-Fi at your house. We need these resources kind of during this time period. Also, if you don't have access to Netflix or Prime, uh, another resource that I want to make you available or make you aware of is, come on, get my screen down. There we go. Um, take, get over to the website. You can do this on your phone as well. Go to the Cedar Rapids website. I'll put a hot link. Uh, it, there's a hot link in the Google Docs. I'll put it in the, de the details of this video as well. But if you get on the Cedar Rapids Public Library's website, they've got all sorts of 
of digital resources. Uh, 90% of all the audiobooks that I listen to come from the Cedar Rapids Library completely free, right? Um, they have this access to Hoopla. Hoopla is something that they started just about a year ago. Um, that's a their free streaming service. They've got good access to popular movies, audiobooks, comics. I'm really into graphic novels a little bit lately, and they've got access to that. Usually that's kind of a tough one to get on ebooks. So uh, take a look at that site. It's a good site. Um, there's great resources available. Cedar Rapids Public Library is really doing a fantastic job trying to get those resources out to us in this age of social distancing. So let me know if you need any help um, accessing those resources, and I'll do my best to get them to you. Okay. Some of you still are, are, could also use the time to do some makeup work, right? Remember the units, unit six and unit five, if there's anything out there that's missing, if you're missing current events, this is a great time to do current events. There's plenty of things that you could talk about. Uh, in your current events. So use that time, get some of those makeup assignments or those uh, missing assignments tackled during this time period. If, you know, most of the materials that we've done are in here in PDF, if you want those transferred into a Google Doc, reach out to me. I will take care of that to do whatever I can to get it so you can make these things up uh, during this time period, right? Hopefully you're safe. Get yourself a routine. Wake up relatively early every morning. I'm really pushing uh, my kids to get up and have breakfast and work out outside on a walk by nine o'clock every morning. I just think that routine is, a, is really important during this kind of age of uncertainty. I miss seeing you every day. I really do. Um, I think this, is, this break away uh, has kind of reignited my desire uh, to when they when you enjoy doing something and it's taken away from you, you kind of are lost a little bit. So uh, I miss seeing you every day. I'll s hopefully maybe create another video next week, touch base with you. So be safe, watch some history. More importantly, read some history, read a book, right? Uh, that's just going to be good for you in the long run as well. Take care. Have a good one. Be safe. Talk to you next time.